AudioX. This is a new audio generation tool from HKUST that basically does any audio generation for your videos. You can input simple text prompts, video, or even an image to generate the audio. This one looks very cool. Well, it's not exactly new technology for audio generation in AI, but as you can see in the abstract introductions, it seamlessly integrates text, videos, images, music, and audio processing. These innovations can help us do what we usually do for AI videos, like adding background sounds and music. We spend a lot of time generating AI videos and then working on sound effect as we need. For example, if you have different storytelling video content, you can use this tool to generate audio, whether through text prompts or by video to audio. And also, we can do text to music stuff, like if you want some drum sounds or piano sounds, etc. So, we're going to check out a few examples first and see how it runs. First up, we'll look at the text to audio generation examples from AudioX. You'll see that the prompts here are very simple. We don't need a whole paragraph of text prompts for this AI model, just simple text for the prompt. And also, ocean wave crashing. Let's check this one out too. Something else that's very cool is the text to music feature, where sometimes we need music backgrounds for our video content. If you want some basic instrument sounds, this tool can run and generate them freely, right on your local machine. Let's check out these three examples and we'll go over the rest of the features later. The last one has a sad motion soundtrack, and I like this one. It really captures the violin sound and how it feels. And this text to music feature works well too. With video to audio generation and video to music generation. We're going to check out six examples here in full screen. This one is going to be the music to audio examples. It's based on how things visually look in the videos, and it projects what kind of emotions and music sounds will match the videos. Then, it generates 10 seconds of background music for each video. Let's check out these other three examples, and we'll see how they run on our local PC. <laughs> The sound quality is really nice. Well, it looks promising to have this as a tool. Just like what we've talked about in previous videos with MM Audio. Well, MM Audio has a similar way of working, matching audio features based on the video and creating background sounds. But then, MM Audio doesn't have the same level of prompt adherence that lets you input text prompts for whether it's background sound or background music for the video. So, AudioX does this even better with a few options that let you choose between background sound, background music, or just inputting text to generate audio from text or image. And here's the GitHub repository where you can download and use AudioX. It has a very clean UI interface. If you're having trouble running the installation, you can check out their demo page on Hugging Face, which has the same interface as what we download locally, but instead, we're running it in Hugging Face space. Let's try something with this one first. I've generated some video clips recently using WAN video, and we're going to try out some WAN 2.1 video generation results. I'll also use a similar text prompt to what they have in the examples here. So go to the prompt configuration examples. As you can see, it's very easy. Just do something like this. Generate a general audio for the video. 
This is what they have for text prompts in the video to audio format. So, in this way, we're generating the background sound for the video. And if you want to generate music, then you generate music for the video. This is another text prompt for video to music in general. It's broad, without specific details about how you want the sound to be. So here's one of the examples I just did. It's this video that I generated before. Basically, it's using the general audio for the video. This is what I just input for the text prompt. Then, the video parameters, I left them all default. Everything is unchanged in the settings. I just left it as the default interface here, clicked generate, and got this output sound. Let's see how it sounds with the video. Basically, this one can also be used to generate audio for AI video content. If your AI video content isn't morphed or broken, this AI model can detect what's in the environment and generate related sounds. If you want to be more specific about how things sound, you can also be more descriptive in your text prompt. For example, if you want to generate audio for a video that includes motorcycle engine sounds or car engine sounds, you can describe it here, like motorbike engine sound or car engine sound, something like that. Be more descriptive and specific about what kind of sounds you want to output. So I got this and other generations based on this text prompt. I got the engine sounds for the video, including the motorbike and car engine sounds. This is very specific to what I wanted to output, and let's hear how it sounds with the video. As you can see, it's pretty accurate for each timeline, how the motorbike accelerates between cuts and amplifies those engine sounds. Here's another example I generated using this text prompt. Generate sounds for a video with horse riding, desert, and wind. Mix those three elements together and match them with this AI video I generated before. Let's check out how it sounds. Pretty awesome. So, we got all those sound effects for the AI video. I've got another example from a previously generated video using image to video. Then, I brought it into this tool to generate music for the video. I described it as mystery, dark, and cinematic, so those elements were included in how the music would sound. Let's check it out. This one gave me a bit of a surprise. It matched pretty much what I wanted from the prompt and how it felt in the scene. Also, you can use this kind of cinematic scene where you don't want to generate music. You want to generate sounds for the video instead. For example, we can generate sounds for rain and footsteps of people walking. We can go back to the text prompt and update it here. Like the examples I did earlier, generating sound for the video with footsteps and rain in an urban setting. Let's check out how it sounds. Yep, at least it matches what I mentioned in the text prompt for the video. Then, let's try with more different kinds of stuff. Scenes where you can generate background music for the scene, this is most likely what people will use for integrating action and sounds to make the whole content more cohesive. This example is another one for car engine sounds. I just put a very simple text prompt here. We can check out how it's generated in real time and then we'll see how it sounds. Pretty cool, it creates some distance between the sounds and the timeline as well. Yeah, check it out. This is the AudioX demo page in Hugging Face Space.
So we are going to see how to install audio X locally. I have did the installation steps all in this command prompts windows, and I am going to show how it looks in my system. First, we'll install audio X by using Git clone. Once you finish the process, go into the folder called audio X, as mentioned in the installation description in the GitHub repository. We're going to use Conda to create a virtual environment called audio X and we'll be using Python 3.8.2. Once you set that up and press Y during the process, it will create the virtual environment for you. In the command prompt, type conda activate audio X to activate your virtual environment. You'll see the name of the audio X environment in brackets on the next line of the command prompt. Now first we'll need to install Torch, TorchVision and Xformers. These are the usual command lines I use for installing ComfyUI and they work well for this project too since Audio X needs Torch and Torch Audio to run. So once you've gone through the installations and everything is set, after installing all the dependencies for Torch and the related files, you'll go back to the Audio X command prompt and type pip install git adding the AudioX project name. This will handle all the dependency installations for the project. It's just like the concept of pip install requirements txt, where the requirements txt file lists all the dependencies, which we usually see in comfy UI or custom nodes. But in this case, we are using the GitHub project to detect whichever dependency libraries are required and then running a serial install of all the necessary dependencies for the project. Once that's done, the next step is to install FFmpeg and its library dependencies in the Conda environment. After running the command, you'll get another confirmation asking if you want to proceed with the installation. Press Y to continue with the runtime install. Lastly, once it's done, you'll see messages like download and extract package preparation done, verification transaction done, and execution done. Finally, you can run the Gradio interface by typing python run gradle.pi. Since I'm not specifying Python 3, I'm just using the general Python command. Then, it will go through the configurations of the models located in the models folder and share the device for CUDA. It will load the local URL, which you can copy and paste into your web browser to access the interface for the first time. If you execute the generation buttons, there may be something to download as well. You also need to download the model files yourself. The GitHub project mentions the AudioX link to download them. We need the model files and the configuration JSON files. Place these files into a subfolder called models. So in your audio X folder, first create a subfolder named model. Once you have this model folder, download these two files into it. These models are essentially the heart of the AI that runs audio X. Once you're done setting this up, you can continue running the Gradio interface and start playing around with it. First, you'll see the interface with options for input. You can use text prompts only, input a video folder path or upload a video just like what I did here. You can drag and drop your video files onto the interface to generate background music or sound effects for your video. After you install it, next time you want to start it again on your local machine, you first go to activate Conda, and then in the command prompt, you type Python, run the gradio.py script with the model config files, and it will start booting up your CUDA. It will load the local URL, which you can copy and paste into your web browser. Here, I've tried it with my local URL. It's running fine, so you can play around with it just like you do in Hugging Face Space. Same UI right here. I've tried it and it works. In this one, I generated a video for a horse riding scene. Basically, this scene was previously generated using one 2.1 vase. I did an in-paint mask for the princess-alike figure in a green dress, and she's riding a horse past a row of trees. Let's check out this example. Yeah, it works and successfully generates the audio output. And if you have other footage, you can try that out too. It's all going to run easily on your local machine. Audio X lets you generate unlimited sound effects, music, and all the background music for your video content. You can also just use a text prompt to generate sound. 
And if you don't want to upload video files here to duplicate your files in your AudioX GitHub project folder, you can always point to the video path that exists on your computer. So whatever file path you have for your MP4 files, just copy and paste it here, the same way it loads videos in the upload panel. That's it for this video, a very simple, quick, basic way to get your AI content and generate correlated sounds for your video content. I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day. See ya.